Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. Did you know that Max have a text to speech function? It's really cool. You can open up a text document, write down whatever you want your Mac to say back to you in various synthetic voices. I'll show you how to access this and also sample it so you can use it within any music production of your choice. All right, so let's say you want to record some of the sound effects uh, within a Mac, like, you know, the trash emptying and things like that. Um, and also what you can do, because the Mac has a text-to-speech, you can type out some words and then have this these cool robot voices say them and you can record it. So I'll just give you an example. Hello out there. You get the idea there, you know, you can get real creative with it. So first thing what you need is Wiretap Studio. This application allows you to, you know choose different places that you want to record from but you know i'm focusing on recording the mac audio that's coming from the mac and then you want a text document so you can type out the text and to get this text to speech function to work you want to go to your system preferences go to speech and then there you have text to speech and you have a voice so you could choose some different voices you know you have some female voices and and then you have some more uh robotic sounds i guess you could say we cannot communicate with these carbon and and then you could adjust the speaking rate you know how fast or slow they speak and in order to get this to work what you want to do is have this box checked off here speak selected text when the key is pressed and then you want to set a key so you want to make up a key command for this i use command one all right so once you've done that then go back to your text edit and just give it um you know just give it a test type something out highlight it and then use that key command that you created in the text to speech hello out there all right so once you know it's working go back to wire studios and right here you want to choose the input you know where it's going to record from so you want to choose mac audio because it's the you know internal audio from the mac so highlight that Hit record, hit the key command. Hello out there. And then hit stop when you got what you want. So as you can see it right here. Hello out there. Now I could drag it into any project that I want to use and you know really have fun with it. You can also, like I said before, record you know the sound effects and stuff. So I have something in the trash. I'll you know just get rid of it so you can record see how that's recorded. Same thing, you know, hit record. Go to the trash. And here you go. So, you know, now you can utilize that in some kind of music. And then, you know, it shows up here and then you could change the names and whatnot. And I like to drag them out onto the desktop just so it's easy to find. So, you know, for example, if you were using this in some music production i'm using pro tools with this but you know you can use any daw because it's just audio you just got to drag it into whatever daw you're using so here's an example of what i've done with some different voices and stuff You can always get in touch with Justin at WinkSound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at WinkSound.com.